What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do this transition in Premiere Pro. Now this has about four different names, Swoosh, Whoosh, Wahush and Slide. So I don't know what to call it. So if I play through what we currently have, we have Sunrise and then it just simply switches to a dirt road. First thing we're going to do is head over to Effects and from Effects you're going to head over to Video Transitions. From here you're going to go to Slide and then you're going to select slide. Drag and drop this, try and get it in between your clips, if it doesn't go, don't worry, just drag and drop it wherever it goes, then select it, and where it says alignment, select this and select center at cut. Now if I play it through, that's currently what we have. Now what you can also do, you can see this box here, you can choose how the transition will look, so if I select this, east to west, it will now look like this. And you can also do diagonal, you can do top from bottom, so now if I play it through, you can do all sorts. Now I'm going to pick the normal one, which is going to be uh, left to right. And you can see it's a really slow, boring transition at the moment. So we're going to speed this up. The duration is currently set to 25 frames. What I'm going to set it to is 12 frames. I'm going to press enter. As you can see, it's now been shortened if I play it through that's how it looks. Now even though it's faster it's still quite boring. So what we're going to do we head back to the project tab we're going to come here and select new item and we're going to select adjustment layer. From here make sure the width and height match your video by default it should select OK. Drag and drop this above your uh, video then we're going to shorten this down so it is literally just a couple of frames larger than our transition. So you can see that's now what we have. So the next thing we're going to be doing is heading back up to effects and you can minimize out of video transitions. We're going to head over to video effects and from here we're going to come to blur and sharpen. From here we're going to select directional blur. Drag and drop this onto the adjustment layer. Now select the adjustment layer and then as you can see it says directional blur. Now what we're going to be doing first is bringing up the blur length. So you can press this arrow and you can bring it up. Now currently you can see the lines are coming up and down and the blur to be honest isn't very strong so I'm going to bring this up to 60 and that's how I want it. And what you then want to do is choose the direction you choose the transition to happen in. So for example as is left to right. So with that being said we need the blur uh, horizontal. So for this we're going to change our direction to 90. As you can see this is now what we get. What we then want to do is come to blur length and lay down a keyframe and we're going to leave this keyframe as it is. We're then going to come to the beginning so make sure uh, the track is highlighted and use the up and down key on your keyboard as you can see it then um, the magnet hooks onto the edges and on the very first keyframe we're going to turn it all the way to zero we're then going to come to the end frame and we will turn this one to zero as well. Now if I play it through, this is what we've just done. As you can see, just like that, you created a whoosh, swoosh, slide, and the other whoosh transition, just like that. And of course, you will then add the sound effects, super simple to do, and I will be linking the sound effects in the description. <laughs> 